2014 IFA convention with Ted Milburn, VP of Franchise Development at Nestle Toll House Cafe. I had the chance to interview Ted last year, so we're going to talk a little bit about what took place in 2013 and what we can look forward to in 2014. Hi, Ted. How are you? Doing well. Thanks. Good to see you. Can you tell the viewers just a little bit about the franchise and what it does? Uh, Nestle Toll House Cafe is an all-encompassing dessert cafe, all good things Nestle Toll House. Uh, ice cream, cookies, uh, desserts, smoothies, coffee. Uh, we have a crepe program. It's, it's a really, it's a wonderful concept. Okay. Well, it's been a year since we sat down. How about giving us a review of 2013? Mm -hmm. Yeah, 2013 was uh, very good for us. We, we were very strategic in how we brought on uh, new franchisees and embraced in what we call our learning and discovery process. And uh, uh, our methodical approach, uh, I don't want to say is unconventional, but we're, we're very diligent in embracing to bringing people who want to explore the opportunity. We don't disqualify people too early in the process. And, uh, you know, we take the time with necessary candidates our cafes themselves are radically uh, beautiful in, in, in a makeover since even two to three years ago. And I don't know if I described that correct, but no, I think so. <laughs> um, it's, it's a very much a transformation. So success in the cafes and what we do on the front end has really helped us. And as a result, we had a record year of new awards in 2013. And how does it look for 2014? What are your growth plans? Uh, we're going to see all of those open. Yeah, <laughs> so, good. Yeah, so uh, it's been uh, a wonderful start already for 2014. We have signed a uh, master lease uh, with uh, Rouse Properties uh, to be named, but uh, we'll open 18 units in center courts and malls uh, throughout the country. So we're working on a couple other projects that so will be more multi-unit focused. But um, it's been a great couple of years. We're very excited. What type of attributes do you guys look for in a franchisee? You mean the ideal franchisee? Yeah, what is your ideal franchisee? You know, it's everybody, at least in what we call the QSR segment, is going to want somebody with restaurant experience. Okay. And, and that's, that's very typical, but our model is very simplistic by nature. Uh, there's no hoods or grills or fryers or grease traps. Um, you know, execution is so important, quality, service, uh, cleanliness of a cafe. But we tend to gravitate more and more to people who really want to be an owner-operator, that have business experience, that have been successful in a prior life, and we're willing to embrace and teach and preach to those. Not everybody, but certainly I, I think we open the door a little bit further than maybe a lot of mainstream QSR concepts. Is there anything else that you'd like to share with the viewers today we didn't go over? Well, I'd just say uh, for anybody exploring franchising, take the time, learn two or three models, uh, spend the time to really do your research, don't dismiss opportunities too quickly, and uh, you'll have something to compare and contrast amongst uh, two or three options, and I think you'll really find it uh, the exploration process to be very rewarding. Okay, well thank you for catching up with us again, yeah. Ted. If you want to check out and learn more about Nestle Toll House Cafe, you can look at their profile on FranchiseDirect.com.